far, I want to squeeze up and everything, so we can open the floor to those who want to ask. Um, I guess I'll have a chance to... <laughs> Go ahead, Chad. Oh, Alan, Alan. There you go. Alan. Go ahead, Alan. To kick things off. Okay. These are the So, we're going to So, our questions are uh, three, actually. So, how did the new Tekken update affect your play style? There's a new patch, right? So, did that really uh, affect how you like to play? Did it change how you uh, like to pick your characters or anything like that? Uh, I think the, the new hat that they released is good for some people that think uh, the gap between top tier character and the middle tier is too far. So right now, people can pick any character and win the tournament, I guess. And the way that they give the new mechanic, I think they just want to show, uh, they, they just want to test the new system. Perhaps we will see the full system about this war stagger in Tekken 8. So right now, I think uh, for Tekken 7, I think this new mechanic is not really useful in the game right now. Perhaps you can see the full of it in Tekken 8. So you also uh, actually usually play with several uh, rackets like Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, and Tekken. So how do you prioritize which one you want to be most conditioned for, most practiced for? Uh, so I I know exactly that my main game is Tekken, but the way that I play Street Fighter and Guilty Gear, I think because the game is easy to exit the game, I mean easy to play, and actually I, I don't have a problem that from 2D and 3D stuff, but some game like more realistic like Mortal Kombat. Uh, sometimes I have a hard time when I play that game and Tekken. So when I play 2D and 3D, uh, my, my mind is okay with that. Okay. So that's why I play 3D. Oh, okay. So it, 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 the adjustment for you isn't really that big. <clears throat> it's not really a big adjustment, so you're able to play them anyway. Yeah. All right. And, and finally, um, the top 32 for, for the Ghouls and Tekken seems to have surprised a lot of people. How do you feel about uh, the, cur the current top 8 and how do you see the competitive scene around here in the Philippines. So actually I did not expect that I, I could make top eight. So there's many strong players that I play with Chanel and Jenny they are one of the best in the world. And I just knew myself that I I could do that but the, all the time that I, I could not make, make that far because my I cannot control what I want. I can control when I play at home but sometimes when I play at the tournament the emotional, the, the pressure is too much to handle. But I think this time I'm doing well. And sometimes when people think about if you play this game, you have to be like character loyalist. You just pick only one character. For me, I think we will see a lot of top player they change the character sometimes. So that's why when I play like Jennifia, I change to Ak Akuma because I think it's a good strategy against him. So I don't care what people think about like uh, I have to say my game right now. Right. Uh, last question. Considering that you started around 2014, uh, you seem to have been climbing steadily on your placements in every turn that you have been attending. What do you think is the key to your uh, improvement on how you're able to place higher on tournaments? I think um, the one thing that I knew, in my opinion, I think don't give up. Because actually, I played this game for almost 10 years. And I know my placement is not well for every tournament. I'm not first place in, in, any, in every tournament that I attend. Sometimes I got 7, sometimes I got 9. But surprise, sometimes I got first. So I think the main key is don't give up. So every time, you need to lose anyway in this game. You cannot expect to win all the time. So it's about when you lose, can you bring it back for the next tournament, or you just give up and you lose the whole for this game? So I think that's the key. So I, I don't give up for this game. When I lose, I just yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any? No, first time. First time. I think for the people that never play fighting game before and attend to watching is fighting game player, if they 
if this game can inspire you to do playing fighting game, that's good. But sometimes I don't think uh, they need to play fighting game after watching this. I mean, you can inspire to do anything. Maybe you watching fighting game, you inspire to play another type of category of game. And I think that's a good thing when you see a lot of people and that inspire you to do something. I, I, I think that's it. All right. Uh, one more question. Uh, you mentioned that Rev was going to be fun because you weren't the only Thai player here. So, what's the importance of going to events with other Thai players like Uncle Ben? Yeah. So every time that I went to the tournament alone, sometimes I I want the guy that I want to talk with. Like when I have much pleasure, I I, I want to just how to say release my pleasure mm. with when I talk with Thai guy. And I think he, he knew exactly because we are training partner in Thailand. So, and he could help me. Sometimes when you just play and there was a guy that from your country watching you, sharing for you, I think that's, that's good enough. Did he give you any specific advice at Rev? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no. Um, there's uh, sometimes, because people know that, okay, I'm one of the best in Thailand, so they thought I can figure out what is my problem when I lost the first game. Mm -hmm. So most of them not uh, give me any advice, just sharing for me and I hope I can control my, my game for okay. the next match. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last question is, what features or characters do you want to see in Tekken 8? Feature? Or what? Like, like the game yeah. modes or like yeah. anything yeah, you want to see again. Yeah, yeah. So like team battles, stuff like that. Uh, actually, for team battle, I, I I don't care because if you play team battle in the tournament, you just can change to character scene and change <laughs> switch the player. That's it. But the one thing that I really want the most from Tekken Seven to Tekken Eight is the bug of the game. There's so many bug of the game, but I know sometimes it make people hide when they watch that. Like. Sometimes uh, they attack at the same time when it's whip or not yet. Yeah. I think that thing it should be fake. Maybe it's fun for viewer, but as a player, <laughs> it's not enjoyable. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I didn't see the fight, but uh, yeah, that was actually my question. How did it go doing the championship? Sorry? The the game. The game. So so you were, yeah, we were, we were here, no, so we didn't see the match. match. How was it? No, how much was it? Uh, actually, when I played Thailand, I played with only one player. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. He, he is one of the best three fighter players in Thailand. Okay. And they help me practice a lot, so when you play, when when I play, I can control my uh, situation. So, but before I came here, I don't play Street Fighter. I'm I'm not playing. I'm not practice at all. Yeah. So I think the good thing is I'm coming to play this tournament without pressure. Right. Yeah. So just a fresh experience. You just go in. You yeah. Just be yourself. Yeah. Just be myself and play normal uh, Street Fighter. Good. Good. Right. Since uh, you're here and. Your experience from other events, how is it compared to that? The, uh, EVO or the other tournaments you've joined overseas? How is this one so far? I actually I didn't love this compared to EVO. EVO is kind of serious, but this is look somehow serious, but it's more enjoy when people sharing for everyone, any country that they want to share. Sometimes EVO you just only see some some uh, most of them sharing for their country. Yeah. But this event is like they share everyone. Oh, please, right? You have a fan base here too. We actually want to share matches. And I think this event is like one of the most high tournament in Southeast Asia. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you for the fantastic question. Thank you. That's really good. Yeah, um, I guess that's a wrap.